My name is Richard Calvacaresi and I'm going to talk about the exhibition of Georg Baselitz's new paintings at Gagosian San Francisco. In the summer of 2019, Baselitz completed two series of paintings, one on a white ground, the other on a black ground. Each series employs an entirely new technique of transferring an image from a painted canvas lying unstretched on the floor, the paint still wet, to a second canvas laid over it. To the back of this second canvas, Baselitz applies pressure before peeling it away. The first canvas is then discarded, while the second canvas reveals the imprint of the first on its ground, either black or white. The image is, of course, reversed, as in printmaking. It is this second canvas that is then stretched, framed and exhibited. The paintings in San Francisco are all on a white ground, which increases the luminosity of their colours. In their vitality and chromatic intensity, they deliberately invoke some of Baslitz's earlier series of paintings. For example, his first nude portraits of himself and his wife, Elke, sometimes both together from the 1970s, and the fiercely painted savage-looking orange eaters of the early 1980s. But Baslitz's touch, his handling in these new paintings, is much lighter. The paint is thinner and more fluid, like watercolour. The form's broken almost to the point of disintegration. For some years now, he has painted on the floor, moving over and around his canvas and thinning the paint with turpentine and almost pouring it, like Jackson Pollock. The overall effect is of an image that pulsates with a dance-like energy, with the rhythms of life itself, you might say. There are also passages where the figurative shape or presence seems to dematerialize and disappear before our eyes. This is particularly evident in the monochromatic paintings where the artist treads a fine line between figuration and abstraction, rather in homage to one of his heroes, Willem de Kooning. Another artist admired by Basel is Roy Lichtenstein, whose name features in the title of the largest painting in the exhibition, a seated double portrait of Baslitz and Elke in the manner of Otto Dix's celebrated portrait of his ageing parents that has served Baslitz as a model on more than one occasion. The bright, almost acidic colours recall pop art, but there are closer parallels between these two artists, their free interpretations of movements and styles in art history, for example, and their belief that a painting is a self-contained, autonomous object, not a window on the world or a slice of reality. But perhaps the most innovative thing about these new paintings is the fact that the romantic notion of the artist as an individual genius has somehow been challenged. In transferring the image on the first canvas to the second canvas and altering it by applying different kinds of manual pressure to the back of the second, the painter's role in creating the final image is subsidiary, literally second-hand. I think that in these new paintings, Baslitz has come closer than ever to realizing his long-held dream of an impersonal, styleless style.